So we all know that AI tools like ChatGPT and other large language models have totally changed the game for developers. The thing is, most of this AI-generated code, if you're just using the base models of these LLMs, are going to be very generic because these AI tools don't have any context of the code that we have already written in our projects. What if I told you that now there are much smarter developer tools and that can give you much more accurate code? This one tool that I'm about to show to you in this video makes using AI to code so much more powerful than before because it allows you to get your own personalized coding assistant that understands all the code that you have already written and all the context of your workflow to get highly contextualized code generation to make your life as a developer so much easier. This tool is called Pieces for Developers and they are the sponsor of today's video. And today I'm gonna show you how you can install it for free, how to easily integrate pieces into your coding workflow, and finally how to use it to make you ridiculously more productive as a developer. So first thing we need to do is install it, which you do by going to pieces.app. Once we're in here, we're gonna click on docs right from this top menu and then we're going to click on installation and getting started. Now, before we actually install the application, there's something we need to understand. When you install pieces, you actually install two things at the same time. First, we install pieces for developers, which is the actual desktop application that you'll be looking at when you use pieces. But then at the same time, you're installing something called pieces OS, which is a background service that allows the entirety of pieces to run locally offline on your computer using something called retrieval augmented generation. And we'll get back to why this is super awesome in a second. But now what you need to do is click on the relevant button depending on your OS. I'm going to install it for Mac OS and I'm going to click on Mac OS for Apple Silicon. Then my computer is going to start downloading this installer package. Once it's downloaded, I'm going to click on the installer and go through the installation process. And once it's done, we can delete the installer and our pieces application is going to open up. But before we get into the application, we need to make sure that the pieces OS is already running in the background, which you do by looking at the top of your screen and seeing if this little pieces icon is active. And if it is, that means that pieces OS is running and we can open up our application. But before we get into that, there's one more thing we want to install because the cool thing about pieces is that it not only works as a desktop app, but you can also integrate it directly into your IDE. So what you want to do is click on whichever IDE you use. I'm using a JetBrains IDE called WebStorm. So I'm going to click on that, then click on get pieces and install the WebStorm. And then my ID is going to open up and it's going to install the pieces plugin directly into my ID. At least on my ID, I can now access pieces directly like this. And we'll get back to how to use that in a second. So now we have two things on our computer. We have the pieces desktop app and we have the pieces ID plugin. So instead of pieces, you can create chats just like with any LLM. We're going to click on new chat and then you can actually choose which LLM you want to use. And a big benefit of being able to use different LLMs is that there are actually two kinds of LLMs. You have cloud LLMs that work on the cloud like ChatGPT, and there are also local LLMs that work directly on your local computer. And being able to use local LLMs can be really important because often these cloud-based LLMs can be a danger from a data and code privacy standpoint. Whatever data you use with ChatGPT can be used by ChatGPT itself to train the model and you might not want that. And another disadvantage is that with a cloud-based LLM like ChatGPT, you can only use it when you have an internet connection. Pieces is the only developer tool out there that offers both cloud and local LLMs via the Pieces OS that's running locally on your computer. So let's say you want to use ChatGPT for certain things and like Meta's Llama for some other things. You can switch between them just by clicking on them right here. You can even choose like the engines and things like that. I'm just going to go for ChatGPT4 because that's what I use the most. Now you have a chat just like ChatGPT. But what makes pieces powerful is that you can set something called context. So context essentially allows you to add, let's say, code files. So even full folders of code from your own code. But then the chat will automatically understand understand so you can directly ask questions about your own code or add stuff to it and things like this. You can get started by, let's say, adding a folder. So I'm just going to go to my programming projects and I'm just going to add, let's say, this folder right here. So now all the code in this folder right here is going to be automatically included in the context of our pieces copilot. Now what I can do is I can ask questions directly relating to my code. Like, for example, can you make some boilerplate for a component for the main component of my app and now it's going to understand what the code of my app is like and it can help me generate code 
my app specifically. Now, here's another cool thing. Let's say I've asked pieces to give me this navbar component. Now, first of all, it's gonna give me some suggested questions if I wanna ask any questions about the code. Then what I can do is click on this annotate code button right here. It's gonna give me back that code, except with comments. With pieces, you never again have to manually write comments to your code, which is really tedious and time consuming. You can just let this copilot do it for you. So pieces is gonna work based on these snippets. You can save these code snippets, and then you end up basically building up this library of code snippets, which is all gonna be fed into the pieces engine, which can then help you in the future. You can also save snippets directly from your code. So let's say this is an important component that I'm gonna to wanna to use later. I can just right click it and click on save to pieces. And now this snippet is going to be inside of pieces when I go back to my library right here. And it's automatically named it. What's really cool is if you click on here on anchors, it's actually going to include a link directly back to the original code where the snippet was added from it. So if you ever wanna go back to it, you can just click on it and it's automatically gonna open it inside of your code editor. And if that code is related to any GitHub repo, it also automatically gives a link to that GitHub repo. But what's really cool is that you can set this context, not just from your own code, but for example, from images. So oftentimes you might have been in these situations where you're watching, let's say a tutorial online, some code like on a YouTube video, but you can't copy the code from the YouTube video. So you'll have to manually type it out with pieces. You can just take a screenshot of code and then paste that screenshot into the pieces copilot chat and it will automatically extract the code from it. What you can also do is add websites and pieces can automatically extract any code it finds from that website. So let's say I go here, Python tutorial and the Python documentation. I can just add this URL as context. And what pieces is going to do is going to find the code that is inside of that website. I can just ask you like, can you get the code for the link for weak references, which is this code right here. And now again, I can save it as a snippet. I can do, I can annotate it. I can copy, I can do whatever I want. Most of the time when I use pieces, I actually use it inside of my IDE just like this. So for example, in my ID, it just opens up as this window on the right hand side. So for example, let's say I have this file right here and I just want to ask something about this file. I can just add it to the context and now I can ask questions about specifically this file. Like for example, if I have an issue with it, I don't have to like copy the code to the chat and then ask about it. I can just ask like, okay, I cannot drag the draggable page row and it can give me some suggestions. And then what's super cool, when you're then in your code and you remember that, like, okay, I want to use this function here and I remember that I made it before in my other projects, you can just ask pieces to find that snippet of code and then it's going to find related materials in pieces. And then it's automatically going to suggest to you suggested snippets of your previous code that could be used here. And then you can just insert them right here. And if it's correct, you can just copy it. Boom, just like that. And the more and more you use this, the more and more powerful this engine becomes. You literally have an AI engine that's literally helping you to code. You can even ask about code just by highlighting it. And you can just be like, okay, ask pieces about this. It's also about helping you become a better developer to understand code better. Let's say you're working in a big project, like in your job, and you have a massive file that you're dealing with that you don't quite understand. You can just give that file as context and ask pieces of copilot about how it works. And it can literally just explain it to you. And last but not least, let's say you're doing some research online. For example, recently I've been building a crypto trading board. There's a video coming about that, by the way. And when you go to the Chrome web store, you can install the pieces Chrome extension. And now let's say you find some code online that you'd want to save. You can just click on pieces and it's automatically going to find all the code that exists on this website. And then you can just click on whichever ones you want to save for later. And boom, they're going to now appear inside of your pieces library. So that was just a quick video to introduce this tool to you. Again, thank you for pieces for sponsoring this video. I've always been of the opinion that ChatGPT and all these LLM tools that have come out are really just the beginning when it comes to using AI as programmers. I think this is a super cool tool. Go check it out down below in the description. Again, it's completely free for you to use. And the more you use it, the more intelligent it becomes, the better and more productive you will become as a developer. So my link will be down below. Go check it out and I will see you in the next video.